it is quite clear that many parts of our city could be declared war zones, literally by just how many people are killed there every single day. The latest number that I have for the community of Delft, just reminding you, it's the 18th of September. There have been 18 days in this month. And so far, the latest number that I have is that more than 20 people have been killed in Delft since September 1. It is a war zone. How do we live in a city like this? Pastor Charles George is the um, with the Delft Community Policing Forum. Pastor Charles, really appreciate your, your time. Uh, I say in my introduction, more than 20, because we already know that there have been 20 people confirmed. What has happened overnight in Delft? Does that number still stand? Good morning, uh, Lester. Yes, so we can confirm that it's 20 at the moment. Um, we will get the updates uh, this morning with regards to if there was any other incidences last night. And uh, as you rightfully said, you know, there is more people dying in Delft currently than in war zone countries, um, which is very sad. What's the cause of the violence? Is it interpersonal violence? Is it gang and gun related violence? Why are we seeing on average more than one person being killed a day? Yeah, I think um, um, the majority of the killings is gang-related. Um, and then also with regards to the makeup um, and, and the environment that Delft is currently in, um, you know, it's kind of just becoming the norm for Delft to be labeled as the murder capital of South Africa. So it's mainly gang-related. And in between, we have a lot of innocent people being caught up um, between these fights uh, with the gangs in Delft. I understand that load shedding also plays a particular role in the number of people being killed in Delft. Listen, we've been trying to call out the government. We've been trying to... We, we tried everything. Um, at the moment, I would say close to 90% of the murders in place takes place during load shedding. And we've been asked, and we've been asking... Can we not be exempted from load shedding at night? As the the facts is that most of these murders are taking place during load shedding. You must remember Delft at night is pitch dark, pitch, pitch dark. And when the shootings occur, you know, although we have people that can hear the gunshots, we can't see anything. We don't know the color of the, of the car. We don't know the color of, of what the, the perpetrators were wearing. We can't see anything. Uh, even with regards to some places where we have CCTV cameras up, it's very difficult to ascertain exactly um, what the facts are around the shooting. So we've been talking and we've been pleading, with, and again, we've been trying to say, can we not just be exempted from load shedding during the night in Delft? So it sounds then that gangs are then deliberately using load shedding as tactic and as a premeditated attempt to go find and shoot someone, using load shedding as that cover of darkness? No, definitely. I mean, definitely, you know, um, you, you're, not, you're not dealing with stupid people. You know? You're dealing with, with, with crafty people, and you're dealing with people that know exactly how the law works, and obviously it's, it's creating an environment, um, especially during load shedding, for the shootings to take place. Um, from the police side, how do, how, do, how do the police police load shedding, you know? Delft has is, is grown, you know. I've been saying for a long time, Delft is growing on a daily basis. More and more people are moving into Delft, you know. There, there's a lot, of, a lot of other crimes as well. And we don't even want to speak about the petty crimes, but crime is crime. Um, and so it's, it's, this load shedding is creating an environment for gangs. Um, to go out there and, you know, come and just, just do their thing. So how do you go about petitioning or lobbying the city or ESCOM to say, please don't turn off our electricity? Because if you keep the electricity on, we believe we will see a drop in the murder rate. How do you go about petitioning the city or ESCOM to do that? Yeah, so, so we've, been, we've been mobilizing the community. Um, we've been writing to the Minister of Electricity um, we've been asking other um, skilled 
um, 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 partners to come in and, and assist us. Um, as I said, we've been, we've been trying to do anything and everything. We, um, uh, you know, everyone's in our corner when it comes to load shedding um, to to see how we can be exempted. So um, we're having a march on the 24th of September as well uh, in Delft, um, and that's against uh, where the residents are are standing up and said, "Listen, we have enough. Enough is enough." Mm-hmm. Um, for for innocent kids to be uh, to be killed like this, um, and through that we we wanting to to mobilise the community to stand up and say to ESCOM, you know, please just exempt us from load shedding during the day, um, sorry the night, and obviously during the day as well, um, businesses are suffering, so it's it's a difficult mm. act to balance as such, but we have to start somewhere. Charles Rose is the spokesperson for the Delft CPF. Just take me through twilight hours, early morning, late at night, when people have to either leave for work or come back home from work. Many of that in the dock. Have you also seen an, an, an issue with regards to muggings, robberies, particularly during these morning, nighttime hours when people are returning from work? Charles? Yeah, not so differently, you know. So, um, you know, some people wake up in load shedding, go to work and come back home to load shedding, you know. The problem with the list, so let's say um, the load shedding schedule is, say, from 10 till 12. So at 10 o'clock, the, the lights go out. Then we have the other criminal element starting to steal cables as well. So when it's 12 o'clock, the light's supposed to come But now mm. the cables are stolen, which means it can't come on. And, and, and there's different portions of Delft connected to different portions of the grid. So if the one side is on, the other side is off. Um, so now you have, you have stolen cables, you have no electricity, and that's not two hours load shedding, it becomes two days load shedding. Mm-hmm. And, and, and this is, this is it's, it's very sad to see how women, you know, getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning, going to work in the middle of, of winter when it's so dark, um, as they're walking down these dark, dangerous alleys, just to put food mm-hmm. on the table, they get mud, they get robbed. Housebreaking, you know, housebreaking occur mainly at night during the load shedding period as well. Mm-hmm. People's vehicles have been have been stolen, and the list goes on and on. And and this is this is the kind of makeup or or environment that people are supposed to live in, which is, it's impossible. It's a depressing long list. Pastor uh, Charles George, he is the spokesperson for the Delft CPF. 20 murders so far in this month of September. We're currently in the first hours of the 18th day of September. So as of last night, the 17th, going into the 18th day of September, already have had 20 people killed in Delft. That is worrying.